The Cromarty and Dingwall Light Railway was a railway that was planned to be built between Cromarty and not Dingwall, but Conan Bridge, so that it could then have a junction with the main line that would then head on to Dingwall. Around six miles of track was actually laid, but the war broke out and construction was halted by the government, and all attempts to rebuild the line after the war failed, so the railway was never finished. The Cromarty and Dingwall Light Railway turntable would have been around here, in what is now Townlands Park in Cromarty. The station at Cromarty for the Cromarty and Dingwall Light Railway would have been here, at the entrance to the Townlands Park housing estate, which was built in the 70s, long after the railway was already scrapped. There is some evidence of the railway remaining, such as the fact that there are bridges here at Redburn Bridge, and at Rose Farm Road End, though it is a little overgrown and it's hard to see it. And one at Farnest Road End, which is the only one that wasn't made out of concrete, but instead out of regular stone. And one just behind Scott's Garage in Jemima. And one at Pointsfield, which is um, in the middle of nowhere and very overgrown at this time of year. And finally this bridge, which was actually designed for the road to go over the railway, which would have been where I'm standing. Which, if you can't tell, it isn't. Here, at the picnic area, just across the... on the seaside of the road, there was a level crossing heading across the road from that side to about here. And that was discovered in around the 90s, when they were digging up the road over there and discovered that several sleepers were still buried under the road. And over there, there is an embankment lined with trees, and that is where the railway would have gone from here.